was going to pledge his support to her because if he didn't, well, there would be a contingent. I think I showed it to you on a previous episode of black women in the Democrat Party who were like, mm -mm, he had better be Kamala Harris or I'm going to. And I'm, I'm not doing this, by the way, as a stereotype. This woman literally was thug life. <laughs> who was she speaking to, guys? Was that like, who, who was she on when we showed that woman who was a delegate and she was just like delegate and she was like, I am not at all going to deal with this. You know, we, she better be the next person if he sits down. So they understand that it will look really bad if they do not lean in to saying that they really do want Kamala. But even that feels a bit performative to me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm starting to see articles creep out and they seem like attacks on Kamala. Again, if we can go into our time machine and go back to 2020, well, every time that someone tried to interject the truth about Kamala, which is that she slept her way to the top. It's a fact. She was with some six-year-old man, got her start in the political career. And they would go, oh, my gosh, how dare you say this? That's so sexist. Well, then, suddenly, on July 6th, the Daily Mail actually published a headline about the fact that Kamala Harris was, you know, thotting through life. And they basically said she got her, her political star, her political upstart, because she was dating this guy, Willie, can't think of his last name right now. And he was married and he was in his 60s and Kamala Harris was just a spring chicken. And that is how she entered the political scene. So she was not somebody who was a part of their ecosystem, but they tapped her in 2020 because they were like, oh, like the thing that we always say is that look at the Republican Party, it's so white and there's no diversity. And how are we going to be able to say that if we're running Joe Biden, who has been extraordinarily wealthy his entire life and whose son is becoming extraordinarily wealthy while smoking crack simply because he's doing dirty deals in Ukraine. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna hire Kamala Harris. We're gonna, we're gonna select Kamala Harris to be the vice president. And he's the only person I can think of. And then we can sell. I know that when, when she was sworn to Congress, she was talking about how she's an Indian, but we'll just sell the people, like, forget the Indian side. Like, now she's back to black. And the streets are talking. Ha, 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 ha. And that's what they did. So that is the only reason that Kamala Harris, they li literally did not have another person that they felt could be the vice president and allow them to use the isms. You don't like her. You're a sexist. You don't think that she's amazing. You're a misogynist, deep-seated misogyny. You don't want this ticket to win. Is it because Kamala Harris is black? Kinda. I feel like it is. It's because you're a racist. So they just needed her to do the thing. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Candace Owens says Kamala Harris big slept her way to the top. <laughs> What'd you say, Clap? I said big up Candace. Listen, man, she ain't said nothing that Judge Joe Brown ain't say a long time ago. Like if you if you catch up to his interviews, he been said that. He said Kamala sucked and fucked her way through the top. I mean, even if you look back to when she was running around with um Montel, was it Montel that she was running around with? Like she was just like she, yeah, it was she Montel very much ways. had the appearance. Yeah, she had, she very much had the appearance of a pass around. And um I think, you know, I, normally it wouldn't matter, but I think that it kind of reflects a little bit in her behavior now because like she like, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but Kamala cannot, like, be serious. Like, she can't, like, like when anybody asks her a question or makes a statement combating something, she's always laughing and cackling. Like, the bitch can't fucking just, like, hold her composure like a, like most politicians can. So, for me, you know, it's a L, but, you know, I, I digress. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Marcus. She not black. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't get why they running her as a black person. They need to lean into the the Indian, Caucasian, Jamaican aspect and push that. That whole you not voting for her. She that's not actually a black woman, bro. But she got she is blackish, I guess, or a person of color. Um, did she sleep her way to the top? survey says yeah i mean they do she was messing with dude she did get appointed to two different positions they got like almost 200k in salaries for pretty much just knowing him um but with that said don't john trump got like sex worker uh accusations and all type of other crazy shit both of their ass fucked up like if we if we put both their sexual histories to the task both of their ass look crazy as hell donald trump was he indicted for the pants Stormy Daniels? Am I not, am I not mistaken? Did that not happen? 
ain't his wife a, 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 a porn star or or a, a centerfold in nude magazines? Come on, bro. But that's not the, I, I, I mm, that's not the same as fucking your way to the top, though, bro. Like that. That's one. One is saying that you've done some some not so savory things in your sex life. The other one is saying that your career is old to your sex life. So it's like those are not even the same thing. Like like no. like it be like you know I'm saying like nobody's claiming that Donald Trump is where he is today because of who he was fucking. No, you know they were claiming because he was a white man and his father set him put him in a place. Sure, they would say that, but it's like we all know that's not how life actually works. Like niggas gotta use that money and push it around and buy buildings and hire people and like 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 we're not gonna pretend he never did nothing. Like like we don't see Trump buildings all over the whole country, all over the whole planet. Like, you know Trump is a licensing agreement on his name. Most of those buildings he didn't buy or, or create. And I didn't I didn't I didn't claim he built all of them, but I'm just saying like so the, no the, I, I, leg the me, legacy he did build. The legacy me, he did build. Like his name is all over the world. Last point about the buildings yeah. coming. And so they did a study that showed if Trump would have just invested his money in the SP five hundred that he inherited, he would have uh, fared better off than his business deals that he himself created. Not mentioning the junk bonds and the casinos that he bankrupted in Vegas. Which proves my point. The fact that he's had failures proved that he's not up because because he's white, because he's clearly failed. No, he was too big to fail. So when he failed, uh, what the what the banks did, as opposed to what they would do with a regular person, where they just take all the assets, they were able to leverage his brand and utilize the brand of Trump as a moneymaker because his business. So he built a brand, like I said. Yeah, he did build he a brand. He did build a brand, but the brand was based off being was the inherited thing. I mean, his pot started him off with a million. The brand today is probably worth multiple millions. So I don't, you know, a million dollars doesn't last that long. I mean, you know, what I mean, like a million dollars, a million dollars is what, like, what was that in like the sixties? He gave him that money. So I mean, like a million dollars ain't lasting in twenty twenty four. He's given him more than that. And when those casinos were going bankrupt, his father went in there and I think dropped off eight million dollars and and never took it to chips anywhere. So the casino would stay afloat or stay cash uh, sufficient. Like it, it, they don't talk about Sounds it. Like in detail. Dad to me. Sounds no, that's like a great day. That's a great day. I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm not pro Kamala nor pro Trump. Keep it a hundred. I see the flaws in both of their ass. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I, I'm I'm pro reparations. That's all I really care about. That shit need to be a tone for. Outside of that, I really could give zero fucks about what they is pushing. Yeah, like I think a lot of people got skeletons in the closet, man. But when you're in the public, it's a little different because people are gonna gonna find every every possible thing that you've done, and they're gonna make sure that the world knows about it. So, uh, I think she even brought up if you listen to the video again, and she even brought up some stuff about Biden possibly taking showers or something like that. With us, it's, it's some news that's, that's floating. His daughter um, put out a book, and in her book, she was saying how she feels that she was groomed as a child because her dad used to take showers with her. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then there's also like, you know, during the last election cycle, there was a lot of video footage circling the internet of Joe Biden, like rubbing on little girls' shoulders, sniffing the air. You know, mean. like the girls are like, they're like you could tell the, the, the young girls are like visibly uncomfortable, and he's like trying to touch on them and kiss them. It's a little weird. Mm. They not like us energy. Yeah. PDF files. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kenny P. Sometimes I'm just amazed by uh just the bias and you know the the lack of uh you know credibility put to a lot of the statements and when challenged, you were like, well, I guess we all do it. Okay, Candace finally popped her head up like a mongoose after getting uh, escorted out of uh, the good old Jewish uh, delicatessen that she once worked in. Now she's back on the Republican train. There's checks to be had. I got to feed my interracial kids and make sure I please my, my good old... Uh, vanilla husband but she's not talking about her skeletons but you're quick to point out others there's a whole article regarding her when she was younger putting a case on somebody regarding grape or 
sexual assault that that got swept under the rug. There's a lot of things that Candace Owen does that isn't brought out to light, but you know, she's not in the line of the gun. She's the one shooting it. Say Kamala did. What does that have to do with what she's doing now? There's a lot of those people that do unscrupulous things to get where they are in government. Kenny, do you a lot of them that take them? Huh? Do you feel a way about her saying I won't do nothing specifically to black people and then turning around and saying that she's gonna donate 38 million billion dollars to the Israel Defense Fund? Okay, she can't donate no 38 nothing. Well, not donate, but allocate. Allocate. I, I use the wrong word. Pardon me. Allocate. Um, the vice president can't allocate nothing. She could, she could for she could uh be a supporter of it, but you know, that that's uh Congress and they deal with that to see if that gets passed. So we can't really like say that. So we have to be responsible when we're saying stuff like that. As for because she, she said it, she pledged the she pledged it. In the middle of uh, was it AICP? Okay, she pledged her support for it. Right, support for it. Correct. She she doesn't have the power to give them no money like that. So let's clear that up before people get a misconception about that. As for making the comparisons with Trumpito and her, his mail order bride, his predatory statements, the 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 grapes that he did that got swept under the rug. Yeah, he has a shady past too. That's regarding your situation, but let's stay on Kamala. Kamala. She is black. Her father is black, Jamaican, and her mother's Indian. You can call it whatever you want. You mix with black, you're black. So what is she had choices of men that she slept with? That was a young girl. Kamala She's responsible. Too, She's res she was responsible for her choices. But you had an old slick dude. Like a lot of old slick dudes, you know, that see that little young piece and say, I'm going to give you Gucci and gold. And guess what? She fell for it. But look where she is now. She's a married woman. Be respectful to her husband. And I don't agree with a lot of her policies. I don't agree with people running that trope that she put thousands of blacks in jails. And it came down to, what, 54? If you really did the research... Let's not do that. That's 49 more than Trump being accused of with the okay, Central Park. So you, you saw what you just did, right? Because you were one talking about thousands of blacks. Because I, I didn't say nothing about thousands of blacks. I didn't say nothing about thousands of blacks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It was one of my shows. I, I will show you. But that, that, that was one of the main things that a lot of people was pushing. Oh, she put a lot of blacks in jail. No, a lot of blacks put themselves in jail. You had a choice to commit a crime or, or walk a straight line. You knew what the penalty well, she, was. She withheld she evidence. The kids? She, she withheld evidence uh, uh, for people that basically there were people that could have gotten out that she purposely withheld evidence and had to get forced to release evidence. So okay. that, what you're saying you is not with, entirely true. Okay, here we go. Here we go with the propaganda. That is a crime. You get tried for crimes. You can't withhold nothing. Pay attention to what you say. What I'm saying is there's evidence that could exonerate you from a crime. And if the prosecutor is withholding the evidence and not allowing the evidence that can that can exonerate you, that's pretty messed up. Correct and or not? here is the misconception again. It was not her. It was the centers that did test. It was not on her. When you run a bureau and you're the head, you have legal, you have legal people, lawyers that work under you. They weren't scrupulous enough to do their due diligence, so it fell upon her. But guess what, yeah, people? Yeah, but that's what a leader is supposed to do, her. take responsibility. Wait, wait, wait. A leader is supposed it, wasn't, to take it wasn't her to take responsibility department. if they're doing it. You just said she was the leader, did you not? Okay, so now she you said she did it. So no, we're I'm not going to do words, Samantha. Whether, whether she did it or not, it's her responsibility because she's the okay, leader. Whether she correct? did it or not is moving the goalposts. You said she did it. All right. So let me let me say it in a way that you prefer. It happened under her watch. No. It happened under I don't her want, leadership. I don't want what I prefer. I want the truth. That's the truth, correct? The truth. Did it happen under her watch? 
Okay, so watch we go. Her leadership. Okay, so Marcus, we're gonna keep spinning words. So black men, black narrative. men were disenfranchised. Black men were disenfranchised. Disenfranchised from what? Under her watch. Disenfranchised. Evidence. Are you using the right term? Evidence, verbiage. If you have evidence, if you have evidence that Cloud, can are you, you using the right verbiage? And someone disenfranchised? is disenfranchised, bro. Regardless of the verbiage, you know exactly. Or wrongly what I'm convicted. So, so however. However you want to place it, my brother. However you want to place it, you know exactly. Nah, what I, mean. I like using proper the point words is, because that had nothing to do okay, with what well, we're talking about. Well, well again, yes, it did. That's it. what this, <clears throat> Kenny. That's what disenfranchised means. You know that. You know disenfranchised. Read, read it means that I, I, don't I know you pulled doing. it up. You're disenfranchised, it, disenfranchised is, is 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 denying somebody the opportunity or a right or a privilege that they should have. Okay, that's like not it. That's what disenfranchised me. I just, I've been no. using it for the last 30 years wrong. Okay, Somebody look so, it up. Okay, so Shannon, they got their due process. Uh, deprived of some right, privilege, or okay, immunity. So, especially deprived so he, of the right to vote. Okay, so they okay. got their due process. A right process. to a fair trial. If you're, if you're deprived okay, wait, wait, of the right wait, 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 wait. to a fair trial, if you're yeah. deprived of the right to due process, if you're if, if evidence is withheld that could exonerate you, you are being disenfranchised. Okay, Shannon, I, I used the thank, word you, thank, you, thank you for piggybacking him. They 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 got their due process. It was upon what what was found from the evidence given. They were not disenfranchised. They got their due process. It was upon their lawyers to be more scrupulous to find out exactly what went wrong when ev when evidence was presented. If you read the whole article, they did not do it. the The majority of those guys, percentage wise, took the uh the free lawyer. That just wanted to get the cases out the way. So they did get their due process. It, disenfranchisement is me. I come in there and you don't have a shot. I don't do what's right. And then I put you, I put you in a bing. That's not the same thing. There's a difference. There's a, there's a thin line there. So let's let's try to use that properly. I right, yeah, let's make sure we stand up. Not get due process. All right, let's make sure we kind of tie back into the topic, y'all, about Candace Owens and Kamala Harris. Slept away to the top. Candace Owens kind of did the same thing. Okay, let's let's stay on point. Say say she did. If she did, it would mean she's not qualified. It, it, so it would mean, be the same if a man did it. It would be the same if a man did it. Let's say let's say it was a, a gay man. Let's say it was a gay man who, who was sleeping his way to the top. What that would mean is that the person is not qualified for the top leadership position because they didn't get there through the proper channels. That was that's what it would so mean. So is it is it is it proof or alleged? Well, the relationship is documented. Her, the relationship. The relationship okay. I wasn't. But, I wasn't in her okay. bedroom. Say the usually, relationship was documented. Her getting yes. her positions. Do you have proof that? because of her intimacies with said individuals she got positions can you prove it well the simple fact that you had intimacies with someone who's responsible for getting your position i mean someone who had the power to give you a position i mean come on kenny like you're being disingenuous right now no i'm not all right you got it if I you could prove wait, they're, they're, the last thing if you could prove it she'd have been an hr she'd have never got those positions he actually came under fire for those things for uh, inappropriately ad advocating uh, positions. Okay, was, Marcus, I'm glad you said that. So when they, when they delved through it and parsed through it, did they find proof to make it valid? Uh, I believe so, and it wasn't just her. But I'll look it up. No, again. I could no. be wrong. I'm not. She, I'm not. I'm making, I'm not got pulled out of any position, so that's wrong. So I, no, I didn't make a definitive statement. I said I believe so. I could be wrong. I think I prefaced it with that. She didn't never I? got relieved of any position that she's ever been in. No, I didn't say she was relieved. I said that they investigated him for it, and I believe that he was in, he was uh, like brought to, to task behind that. But I don't. I gotta look it up real quick. You know what I thought interesting? It's, it's interesting, on. Kenny, how adamant you are about um, how things were swept under the rug for for other candidates, right? But when it comes to this specific candidate, you don't think it's possible anything could have been swept under the rug, especially if you have, you're you're fucking your boss. You don't think your boss would sweep some things under the rug for you if you're fucking them good? That doesn't make sense to you. If, if to be to answer your st your statement correctly, if found to be true, you're supposed to get a penalty for it. 
if you're speaking allegedly like you're doing like your the majority of what you say is like barbershop talk and i've actually looked at the articles and then at the end of the day you have to prove it and she's never been removed of any position despite people scoffing at whatever they believe happened that, that means mean it didn't happen kenny do you Scoff think the super the mayor is uh is is all is guilty of anything what does that you know, have to do with what we're talking about well it would show like for someone to be guilty of something that we can haphazardly prove but haven't been brought in, in court and held to to full the context of the letter of the law that doesn't make that person innocent it's okay. it's more than likely that they did the thing that we're alleging okay it's, you heard i'll i'll spin the block on it if okay. you mentioned court if that was ever brought to court court and due process was had and a verdict was given and that person was exonerated why are we still talking about it if it ever got to court now what we're talking about her and candace owens she speaks a lot of truth i give it to her but when you're saying someone slept her way to the top from the excerpts that you got that's fine that's what her peers are saying. And I, I think I think you, you can make the same a similar argument for Candace Owens, honestly. 